The promising news from Pfizer this morning in a final analysis of clinical trial data, the drug maker says its COVID-19 vaccine is 95% effective and it will apply for U.S. emergency authorization within days. Here now with more is Bloomberg Intelligence Senior Pharmaceutical Analyst Sam Fazelli. Sam, great to have you with us this morning. We appreciate your time. Now, this is the first time we're hearing a time frame for, for authorization. So who's going to get the first shots and how soon? Yeah, good morning. Um, so obviously great news. Uh, we do know that the FDA is going to hold a panel of experts to look at the data from both Moderna and Pfizer. Uh, in, uh, on the 8th to 10th of December. They've called a panel. I'm assuming, therefore, that means that authorization will have to come after that. And I suspect the first people who are likely to be the target for the initial doses of the vaccines will have to be uh, healthcare professionals and the very frail and elderly who um, are the ones who suffer most from the disease when they catch it. Right, the frontline workers and, of course, those folks who are most at risk for suffering from COVID. Um, Sam, I'm, I'm wondering about how this could change the timeline for when we could all be vaccinated. Oh, um, well, I mean, it, that doesn't really change necessarily from the news today. Um, it is st we're still going to need to get those doses out into the, uh, into the um, community. And I think the volumes that we're talking about now is probably sufficient number of doses, assuming both vaccines are equally uh, effective. Uh, of about 40 million, 45 million individuals to be vaccinated on a monthly basis, say, starting in February. But then, of course, then there's going to be wastage, there's going to be problems getting it to people. And then, of course, the biggest issue is getting people to go and get the vaccine. Yeah, that's, that's of course, going to be a, a challenge in and of itself. Uh, Sam, I, I wonder, too, just about what we're learning about Pfizer this morning and how that's different from what we learned earlier this week uh, from Moderna. Uh, in that study, it talked about how severe cases were actually prevented, even if people uh, did get COVID. Anything new from Pfizer this morning in that sense? Yeah, there's two or three elements that in the Pfizer and, uh, release that, that are uh, quite interesting to look at. Number one is that they actually provided a efficacy measure for the vaccine in the elderly group, um, greater than 65 years old. And it wasn't over 94% effective. So it tells me, given that the overall trial was 95% effective, that the vaccine works just as well in the elderly as it does in the young. And that is absolutely critical because we always worry about how well older folk respond to vaccines, given their immune systems are often um, down-regulated or, or weakened just because of age. Then we had the fact that they also had a significant difference in the number of severe cases in the placebo group versus the ones who got the vaccine. The difference here being that they did find one case on the vaccine versus the Moderna, which had no case. But I wouldn't read too much into that. And lastly, the safety, based on the data that the two companies have so far told us in their press releases, looks better for the Pfizer vaccine than the Moderna vaccine. Bloomberg Intelligence and Sam Fazelli in France. Thanks so much for your time. We really appreciate it this morning. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.